This is my Dragon Touch K7 uh, 7 inch tablet. Uh, I tried to resist the urge for a long time of buying a tablet, and I came across this particular tablet at uh, 80 bucks. And I figured for my basic needs, which would be basic internet surfing and checking email, that kind of thing. I figured this would be a perfect time to, to grab this tablet and, and try it out and see how well it goes. Um, the tablet comes with uh, a power cord, a da wall adapter, a mini USB to USB uh, cable, uh, like a mini USB to female, I guess, extension cable, I guess is what that is, and a uh, instruction booklet which is actually pretty good uh, for, for uh, as far as instructions go I've come across some bad ones on other products and this one actually covers the basics pretty decently uh, I ordered this from Tablet Express they were pretty quick about delivery I got this within a couple days so that was good I also had a couple email questions they quickly answered uh, which is good. So customer service seems to be pretty good with Tablet Express and this particular tablet. Um, you know, the specs on this, you know, I have realistic expectations for a tablet that's $80. This is uh, what I would consider a budget level or entry level tablet versus the more higher end expensive tablets. And the specs show out for that. I mean, it, I, I, I don't expect to have, uh, you know, a lot extra in this tablet to, as compared to say you know the new Nexuses or the new iPads uh, I mean but this does have some pretty decent things going for it for its price I mean it comes with a, a quad core CPU uh, a gig of RAM uh, 8 gigs of space uh, a 10 by 24 1024 by 600 screen, screen resolution uh, 2 megapixel front and rear camera uh, and the latest Android. Again, you know, with with it being a budget tablet, you're not going to get uh, a large amount of RAM memory in here. You're not going to get True HD, but or, and you're not going to get like high megapixel cameras on this. Uh, but you know, considering it is what it is, you know, this tablet, the screen was surprisingly good. I. I I was shocked, and I'll, let me kind of flip this on here to put it on camera, uh, at how bright this camera was, uh, or I'm sorry, how bright the screen was with this particular uh, tablet, considering that it's not a true HD resolution. But I mean, uh, it, it does pretty good for what it is. Um, for basic web surfing, checking email, playing games, uh, you know, watching videos on the net, watching you know music videos or listening to music on the net, this is going to work just just fine. Uh, you're not going to you know again you're not going to have the speed of, or or screen res resolution of the high end tablets, but for a basic tablet, it does a pretty good job. It's a little thicker than what you see. The, you know the newer tablets would be, uh, you know. I mean, I'm okay with that. The battery life is okay. I mean, again, when you're comparing more expensive tablets, of course, the battery life is going to be better for these. It's going to take longer to charge with these budget type tablets, and this one, you know, is okay. Not, you know, it won't match those higher end tablets, but that's okay. You know, if you're looking for a budget tablet, this is a budget tablet. Um, you know, I, I. I did manage on a battery charge though when I first set it up, you know, of setting everything up, playing around with the with the tablet, downloading a ton of apps that I was downloading for the tablet that I regularly use on my phone. I wanted on the tablet. The battery lasted throughout the app, throughout the day, throughout the work day. Um, you know, in standby mode, the battery has lasted me like three days and still has a charge. So. That's pretty good for a budget tablet, I think. Uh, setup was fairly easy. Uh, it's similar to most basic Android devices on setup and tablets. Uh, I had no issues with setting up the wires or anything like that. That worked easy. Uh, you know, the one thing I do wish it had 
that I couldn't find. I don't think it's included is Bluetooth. It would have been nice to have a Bluetooth, uh, you know, setting on this, but it doesn't include that. And again, it's a budget tablet. Um, and I, I did make some changes to the settings. Uh, I didn't like the fact that they put something called Mobile Genie, which is kind of like a different version of Play, Play Store, somebody else's Play Store. Uh, I disabled that, and and my lookout antivirus for some reason keeps picking up this program called Mushroom Day is unsafe, so I disabled that. I don't even know what it is. Some kind of game, I assume, but it didn't recognize it, so I, I didn't like that, uh, and I disabled it. Uh, unfortunately, it wouldn't let you uh, uninstall those programs, and it's like most uh, Android devices, I don't care who the brand is, it's got some type of software on there that you can't uninstall. I put an additional 8 gigabytes SD card in this uh, in the SD slot off of the tablet. I personally recommend that because you're limited with the amount of space that you have. An additional 8 gigs will help that quite a bit or if you want to put a 16 gig in there that's good too. But th that helps, you know, for having apps and games and things that you want on there so I did that for mine and then I tried to move as many of those apps that would be allowed to the SD card to save that additional space. Um, videos, watching videos is fine again uh, you're not going to get true HD resolution but it was pretty good resolution the screen was bright clear and not bad for a budget tablet. The sound is okay a little over underpowered, uh, but again, you know, it's a budget level tablet. I don't expect it to have surround sound, for example. Um, uh, every app and game I've tried with it has worked well. Uh, it's been fairly speedy. Hasn't slowed down at all or given me any issues at all. Uh, I mean, again, for me, this is, being using this strictly as a internet surfing, email checking device, this works fine for me and for those that you know expect to use it similarly you know for surfing the net, checking your email, watching videos on the net, watching music or listening to music on the net you know this will be fine I mean perf I, I see this as a perfect tablet for like kids or like my mom who's older who's still learning to use the internet this tablet would be great for a senior or a kid uh, you know you won't be able to save a lot of music and video because you, again, have that space constraint. But, I mean, for the other stuff, it worked, has worked well. Everything I've asked for it to do. And, and overall, I think it's a good budget tablet. I rate it four stars.